Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So today we're going to answer a very important question with these EG4 inverters. Do they communicate with China? Can they be remotely shut down from China? What traffic traverses it? So my background is in cybersecurity, and I've been doing cybersecurity for the last 10 plus years, focusing on network and application security. So I thought, you know what? Let's do some real tests on it. Let's actually capture the traffic. Let's see what's going on. So I've got my Mac set up. I've got a application called Wireshark, which is a packet capturing tool. We're gonna to look at all the traffic going to and from the device, and we'll have a definitive outcome on what it communicates to. All right, let's take a look. All right, so as promised, let me pull up Wireshark real quick. Here's all the different connections to my Mac. The one that we're interested about is this EN1, which is the connection for my Wi-Fi. So we're going to click on that. So the first thing that we need to determine is what is the IP address of my EG4 12,000 XP? And IP address is basically its address on the network. So the first thing that I need to do is determine which device that it is. So it's pulling traffic from all my devices. So I'm going to generate a good amount of traffic to make it easier to determine which device is my inverter. So with being on uh, the EG4 website, monitor.eg4electronics.com, I'm going to go to maintenance. And then I'm going to read to read the settings off my inverter. And that's going to create a ton of traffic. Okay. I'm going to stop my packet capture. Don't worry about all this here. Um, I'm just going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So I'm going to look at some of this traffic that's coming in. Analyze it real quick. And see if I can figure out which device is my inverter. Here we go. So you can see this first one that says client hello monitor.eg4electronics.com. So this device 192.168.1.144 is going to be my device in my network. 192.168 is what's known as a class C network, which is not routable over the internet. It is a local internal network. So I know that this is my EG4 and it's communicating to monitor.eg4electronics.com, which the IP address is 3.101.7.137. It is using uh, TLS. You probably heard the term SSL, uh, but TLS is a newer form, um, essentially, of uh, for encrypted traffic. So it's version 1.2, which is a newer version. And but I, I, I'm not going to get into details on SSL, TLS, uh, what the three-way handshake looks like, and also um, uh, asymmetrical encryption, but we do know that it's this device. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a separate capture just on this device with a filter. I'm going to go up here, type an IP. Here's my device and I'm going to start a packet capture. Okay, once again, I'm going to generate a little bit of traffic. And we'll see that hello once again to the uh, EG4 website. And one thing that I want to look at real quick, I'm just curious who is hosting uh, EG4's website for them. So we'll be able to uh, figure that out pretty quick. So here it is. So 3-101, let me just pull this up here. I'm going to go to a website called VirusTotal, which is very well known in security for looking up information. So we're going to do 
101.7.137. And as you can see, it says Amazon 02. So um, Amazon Web Service, also known as AWS, is who is hosting EG4's website. So um, that's their, uh, their cloud that they're using to host it. All right, now let's look and see who is sending traffic to this inverter and what this inverter is sending as far as traffic. So we're going to do another capture. I'm not going to touch anything on the EG4's website. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to log out of EG4's website real quick. All right, now you can see I'm fully logged out from the website. We're going to do a new capture. Now the traffic that we're going to see on this is going to include a few different devices. We're going to have the uh, EG4 12,000 XP um, inverter. We're going to have my uh, Wi-Fi router, and we're also going to have my Mac because I'm doing the packet capture. So you'll see a little bit of Apple traffic, maybe a little bit of Google traffic, um, but that should be about it. So we'll give it just a minute for it to, uh, to do this. I'm going to wait till I have about 500 packets saved and then we'll analyze it and take a look. All right, now that I have 500 packets, I'm going to go ahead and stop the packet capture. We're going to first look by source, so I click source up on top. And what I'm interested in is this right here, so the 192.168.1.144, which I know is my uh, inverter. And we're going to check every single address that it communicates to. Once again, got virus total pulled up. Okay, so the first address... is 17.248.169.135. Okay, that's Apple. And that's probably because due to my Mac because I'm doing the uh, uh, the packet capture. So we're, we'll ignore that one. Next one is 3.101. Dot seven, dot one three seven, and that's the EG four address, which is hosted by Amazon AWS that we looked at before. Once again, same Apple address here. Here is the um, the inverter. Um, doing a query uh, DNS lookup on my router. So the 192.168.1.1 and it's doing a query DNS query so um, for Apple's DNS. We'll continue down. Here's another one 1757.147.5 Let's look at that. Once again, Apple. And that's it. So now we're getting on to a different device here. So as far as outbound traffic on the inverter, it is only communicating with EG4's website. It's communicating with my internal network, uh, such as my router 
and um, there are uh, DNS lookups on uh, Apple, but that's because of my Mac that I'm doing the packet capturing on. So no other traffic is coming out of uh, the inverter. So it's not beaconing the China. It's not calling out the China in any sort of way. Um, it is only talking to the EG4 website. Now we're going to flip it. We're going to look and see what devices are reaching out to the inverter. So once again, there's that 17, 248, 169, This address right here, this is uh, EG4 Electronics uh, Monitor website. We have Apple once again to reply back. That's it. That's all. So realistically, outside of uh, EG4's website, there really is no communication with this inverter. So if you're worried about Lux Power from China being able to shut down your inverter, they can't. Uh, the software that's on this EG4 appears to be um, essentially either created or modified by EG4. Um, I don't see anything from Lux Power on it. I don't see any calling out the China. I don't see any traffic coming in from China. It's very, very clean. So hopefully this answers that question for everyone. Um, you can leave your dongle in your inverter. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about anybody sniffing your traffic and remotely shutting down your device. It is safe to leave it in, and I'm going to leave mine in. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks again for watching. Mike's Garage.